Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about failover groups in Azure SQL Database. This is created for business continuity so that in case if one of the SQL server of the SQL Database is inactive or it is not functioning properly, then the secondary server will serve the purpose of making the database alive okay so this is a bcp business continuity plan okay which is there in place for the sql database so in order to understand the failover we have the official documentation in azure sql documentation under which the sql database tutorials under bc that is business continuity add db2 failover group the statement here says that it's a declarative abstraction layer that allows you to group multiple geo-replicated databases. Okay. And this failover group is a feature of the SQL server. Okay. The database is created. It has the SQL server. And when we open the SQL server there, we have this failover group feature. Okay. Which helps in geo-replication. Geo-replication means in one geographical region to the other. Okay. That means our SQL database is linked to two servers. The data is replicated into two servers and these servers are present in two different regions. So that is important. If the database is created, let's say in US East region, then the replicated server means the server of the failover group, which we are going to create should be in another region so that the replication could happen. And if one region is down, the other region serve the purpose of business continuity so that there'll be no effect on the database and it will keep functioning properly. So here is the tutorial and there are three steps. We have to first create a normal SQL database. Then we have to create the failover group for the database server. Then in the failover group, we'll create the server and then we'll test the failover. So let's go with the first step. We'll go to the portal, Azure portal. And here we'll create a resource as SQL database. Let's create it. Let's create the SQL database. Subscription resource group. We'll leave it as is. And now we'll name the database. So let's say cloud knowledge SQL DB failover group. Okay. This is our database name. Server is already selected but we want to create another server. So let's create a new server here and we'll name it as Cloud Knowledge SQL DB Server. Okay. The location to note here is East US. So we'll leave it as East US. Then the authentication, let's make it as SQL authentication and give admin login. SQL DB, give the password. Okay, so this looks okay. We have given the server name, location. We have selected as East US. Location should be different when we create the failover group because we have created the server as in East US. So click OK. And here, after selecting the server, we have to do the other configurations like we do not want the elastic pool. We want the workload environment to be development only for demo purpose it is and then We'll leave the compute and storage as serverless only. Backup storage redundancy as locally redundant backup storage should be there. Then we'll go to the networking section. Here we'll select the connectivity method as public endpoint because this is for demo. Allow Azure services and resources to access the server. Let's make it yes. Add current IP address, yes. And the settings will be as is. Next we'll go to the security. Yes, we want Microsoft Defender for SQL free trial enabled. Okay, now we'll go to the additional settings. And here we want the sample database, AdventureWorks, to be present. So we'll click on the data source. We'll go to the tags. If we want to add any. Then we'll go to review and create so that the validation could happen. So the validation happened. And now we can click on create. So it is validating. 
initiating deployment, submitting deployment. The deployment is shown here that it is getting submitted. Now here you can see the deployment is in progress. Let's wait for some time. The deployment is complete. We'll go to the resource that is the SQL database which is created. And here we'll go to the overview section. Okay. So let's go to the overview. And here in the overview we have the different details present here. Okay. Failover group is a feature of the SQL server. And here on the right side we have at the top the server name. Okay the server name which we gave while creation of this database. So we'll click on the server name. As you can see, this is the SQL database. When, when we click on this, we'll be routed. We'll have the SQL server opened here. So the name of the SQL server we gave was CK SQL DB server. Okay. Now in this page, if you go on the left panel for the down under the data management, we have the failover groups option. So we'll click on failover groups. And here we have the option to create the group. Failover group are a SQL server feature designed to automatically manage replication, okay, connectivity and failover of a set of databases. Okay, so we have created the databases. We are now into the server of the database and we are go now going to create the failover group. Let's click on add group. Once we click on add, add group, this page appears failover group name. So we have to give the failover group name. So let's name it as failover group for CK SQL DB. Okay. This is the name which we have given the server. Okay. We will create a new server. We'll not select the existing servers. Okay. Because our database is already built on the server. We have to create another server. Okay. So we'll create another server. Let's say CK SQL DB server 2. Why 2? Because this is another server. SQL server admin login. Then CK SQL DB password. Okay. And to, the point to note is that location we have to give different this time because for the server by default it was East US selected when we were creating, when we created the SQL database. Now we'll change it. Let's make it as South Central US this time. Okay. And then we will click on select. Okay. So once we click on select, we could see the new server selected here. Okay. And then read write failover policy. We'll leave it as automatic only read write grace period in hours okay so the grace period starts from 1 hours to 24 hours we can select okay database within the group okay choose a sql server service tier and performance level that best suits the application needs this database within the group is the main option now we'll configure the database okay it has not been configured yet so it's written not configured yet one database is eligible so for this failover group, one database is eligible. Now let's configure the database. And if we click on configure database, we could see the eligible database name here. The database which we have created just now. So CK SQL DB FG, the failover group. Okay. We'll click on it. Okay. The status is online. Okay. And we'll then select. We have selected it. And then we'll click on create. So we have created the failover group. So the deployment for this is in progress. Let's wait for the deployment to complete. Let's click here. So the deployment is in progress and we'll go to the home. We'll go to the SQL database, which we have created into the server and under the failover groups will go. And we could see that the failover group is created here. Grace period selected was one hour here. We'll click on the failover group and the configuration details. You can see the server role policy grace period. So the primary server is East US and the failover group server, which we have created is acting as a secondary server. 
and you can see that the data is getting transferred means seeding is happening so if we go to the database within the group the seeding has completed secondary server is in readable status okay so the configuration details are here where we have the primary server is in the east us and the secondary in the south central us so our next job is to test this failover how this will work okay we have created the sql database the server was there we created a failover group another server is created so the data is replicated geo replicated to the both the regions okay in the east us it is there and in the south central us also now if a failover happens how this data could be read we did everything now we have to test the failover okay so at the top you can see this failover option okay once we click on the failover option what happens is that the primary server here will be disabled and secondary will act as primary we'll demonstrate this now let's click on failover to test the failover the warning this will switch all secondary databases to the primary role all tds sessions will will be disconnected all new tds sessions will be automatically rerouted to the secondary server which now becomes primary server okay so we want to perform this failover so let's click on yes failover group failover is in progress and here also we have the notification that the failover is in progress and now the failover group failover succeeded and here you can clearly see that the server 2 which was the secondary has now become primary the role has changed and the server for which was the primary server in east us has now become secondary they have interchanged the role so this is how failover group can help in geo replication the connectivity established between the two servers and this is how business continuity is maintained in sql database i hope you've got the basic idea of failover groups and how the failover happens thank you all happy learning bye